write the equation of the line in point slope form and in general form. That line is passing through this point and has to be perpendicular to this line that's given. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and label this point x1, comma, y1. And next, I'm going to find the slope of this line that's given. Um, that's going to, I'm going to have to solve this for y in order to find the slope. So, let's say if I subtract x from both sides, and I subtract 18, I'm going to be left with 6y is a negative x minus 18. And I need to divide both sides by a 6, and that's going to leave me with y is equal to negative x over 6 minus 18 over 6. So y is negative 1 6 times x minus 3. So the slope of this line, the slope of this line that's given is the number that's in front of the x, which is a negative 1 over 6. Okay. Um, this line is perpendicular to the line that I'm going to create, so I need to use the negative reciprocal of this slope. which is a positive 6 over 1, or just 6. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is write the point-slope form of the line. And this is the formula, y minus y1 is the slope, times x minus x1. So I have everything I need to write the point-slope form y minus y1, that's negative 1, is equal to the slope times x minus x1, which is 1 third. Okay, so this is y plus 1 is equal to 6 times x minus one third. This is point slope form. Next I want to write this equation in general form. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute this six to each of these terms inside the parentheses. So I have six times x and six times one-third. So that leaves me with y plus one is six x minus two. Okay, so general form has all the terms on one side of the equation and a zero on the other side. So all I need to do here is just to subtract six x and add 2 to both sides. So y minus 6x plus 3 and on the right hand side I have a 0 and this is general form.